We're back. All right, welcome to paper one, question three. That's it. Go on the camera. That was awkward. Paper one, question three. Oh, yeah, got it that time. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm ridiculous. Uh, so here we are. Um, important links. Go down to, you guys can't see it, my face is in the way. Important links, paper one guide, right? Here we are. Hopefully you've seen this document already. The videos that I've made so far on um, on question 1A and 1B are right here. Question 2 is right here. Question 3 will obviously go below that. So let's pop this out and let's take a look at what question 3 entails. So question 3 is a compare and contrast. All right, It will always be on two of the written sources. All right, So you're going to have to compare and contrast writing here. Um, it is a six mark question, all right? So now here is where the questions get a little bit more heavily weighted. And here is where um, you might start to drop points a little bit because the time is really gonna start to catch up to you, all right? The allocation is between 10 and 15 minutes. The quicker you can be on question three, that rhyme, uh -huh. um, the more time you have for question four, which is the full essay, which we'll get to a while from now. We're gonna practice these three a lot before we start doing the essay, all right? Uh, two paragraph response, one comparison paragraph, one contradiction paragraph, right? Two comparisons and two contradictions are the earmark, all right? That's really what you want to strive for. It can, essentially you're going for four statements, right? It can be three comparisons and one contradiction or one comparison and three contradictions, but more often than not, it's gonna be two and two. So you've got one paragraph for the comparisons, one paragraph for the contradictions, all right? Um, you are comparing the content only, all right? You are not saying, oh, both are primary sources. That will not count at all, all right? Do not even waste your time writing that down. It doesn't count. You won't get any marks for doing that. You are just doing the content, all right? If one says, I like donuts and I love donuts, that is a comparison. You can put those together. All right, those are the words in the source, the meaning of the source, okay? You're gonna use quotations to back it up. All right, so here we go. Ready for an example? A similarity between source A and source B is their opinion on donuts. Source A says, and I quote, I love donuts. And source B says, and I quote, I like donuts. This is the same. They are the same because they are both having a positive outlook about donuts, right? So I compared it, I used quotes to back up my comparison, and then I explained the comparison at the end. That is all that you have to do for this, and you have to do this four times, right? Make sure this is a running um, commentary, all right? Don't focus on just one source. Don't say source A does this, source A does this, source B does this, source B does this. Every idea should say source A does this, Source B does this, this is the same, right? Source A does this, source B does this, this is different, right? Don't say A, A, then B, B. That is not a running uh, commentary. You need to have both sources in the same kind of idea. I hope that makes sense. So one more time. Source A and B are similar in their take on donuts. Source A says, and I quote, I love donuts. Source B says, and I quote, I hate, uh, 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 I like donuts. This is the same because they are pro donuts, right? In contradiction, source A says, I like key lime pie. Source B says, I hate key lime pie. This is different because their opinion on key lime pie is different, all right? That's essentially all that you're doing, and that was a running commentary. I'm using both sources in connection, weaving them into each other, okay? Um, and then some phrases that you can look, uh, you know, both sources are similar in that they both state blah, blah, blah. Uh, for example, source one states, and similarly source two refers to. So these are some kind of sentences that you can use to show those comparisons and the contradictions, all right? We're going to practice this soon. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, be good.